Hello, my name is Kara Griffey. I'm the walk director for the Alzheimer's Association, Oregon and, and Southwest Washington chapter. I actually started walking as just a walker back in 2009 before I came on staff in 2013. And my very first walk, I remember seeing all these interesting stats about Alzheimer's disease. And the ones that stood out to me most were one, the fact that Alzheimer's disease was not a normal part of aging, and two, that there were no survivors of this disease. And I remember in that moment thinking that, wow, we really need to rally as a community to do something about that. So in 2013, when I started with the organization, it was a dream come true, it still is. And putting on these walks across our entire chapter is so meaningful to see community members coming together and really honoring the people who have lost their lives from this disease, the people currently fighting, including the family caregivers, but really that hope factor in fundraising for both care and support, but also research, and really hoping that we can continue to make breakthroughs scientifically so that one day we'll have survivors at this walk, and hopefully future generations won't even know what Alzheimer's is because it won't even be around. And we're just so thankful for our volunteers, our walkers, our sponsors, our team captains, really everybody who makes this happen because it's not a one-person effort. It really takes a whole community to do this. Okay, my name is Cindy Denton and I'm the development specialist that works for the Walk to End Alzheimer's. I'm based in Eugene, but I work with three uh, wonderful volunteer committees, one being here in the Willamette Valley Walk, where I have a committee of about 15 people that I work with and plan this. I have been working with the Alzheimer's Association now for about four, three years, going on four, and I help organize these walks to get people together to have hope and to be able to just talk to one another about the disease. And it's also been kind of called the world's largest support group, and, but it's a time where we can get together and enjoy each other's company and be supportive of one another and raise money and awareness for Alzheimer's, which is a sixth leading cause of death in the United States with no way to cure it, slow it, prevent it, treat it. So we need to do something about this. It's the numbers, it's a freight train coming down the tracks, coming at us that we need to do something about. Personally, I just had it hit my family that my brother-in-law was just recently diagnosed with early onset Alzheimer's and age 57. So it's hitting home and now it's personal. <laughs>